looky here. Sure don't see any mountains out here. Where'd the mountains go, Matt? I don't know. They're to our east. We are in Ohio getting ready to make some awesome things happen, so get to the job site and show what's going on. You have a list? Do I have a list? Yeah, that's a crucial part. Okay. Driftwood. There we got Check. that. It's pretty drifty driftwood. Knife blades. Do we have that? No. Uh, probably should grab something. Do you have mm, something I can find any here. Oh, we don't have any? No. I'll tell Jared. Oh, yeah, I'll do. Foam gun. Got it. You have a new one too? Yeah. Okay. Rock pad. Yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah, right. I have a short blade on Spare my... tire. Ooh, we got a spare tire. Spare tire. Got it. Did I get foam? Yeah. How about a three inch pipe? Mm hmm. I got driftwood in here twice. We definitely got driftwood. <laughs> my name Did I get a patch kit? Yes. My name wow. Is a little bit Did I get straps? But yeah. <laughs> Did I get gloves to protect your hands? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good to go. Oh, hang on, I'm done yet. Did I get a spare tire? It's not on the list, but I got it. Wow, you're and on the jack ball. and wrenches. I just hope we don't need it. Exactly. <laughs> oh my. Where are you going, Jason? To Ohio with you. You're going to Ohio? Yeah. Did you bring your lunchbox? Oh yeah. Yeah? Can I have some of it? Uh, no. When we get on our trip. That's that's just once we're driving. Yeah. Okay. That we can what share. What do you have in there, son? Like ganoodle bars, crackers, all that snacks, and all that dress. Gummy bears? No. Ah. My mom would. There, there is this, this much. <laughs> awesome. You ready to go? Yep. <laughs> all right. Do the pre-trip inspection here. Kick the tires. Kick, kick, kick. With our slippery with tire shine. We got a load of some beautiful driftwood. Some big drilled boulders. Look at that. That's a beauty. All right, and we got, wow, this is all covered up, but we have all of our liner, components, pipe, plumbing, and some boulders on there as well. And we are ready to hit the road. Let's head west. All right, you driving, Jason? Yeah. Driving? Yeah? All right, cool. Let's go. I want to take a nap while you drive. You, you got this? I think we got this. You're in the wrong lane. I don't know if you knew I that. Know. I got to be in the right lane. Oh, boy. Next door here. So. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh. She, she was on her phone. We got this. We got this. Oh, man, we got him. She was on her phone. She never wow. saw it coming. We own them. Woo! Dirty. Get them! We have arrived, and this is quite the place. Check out this pond over here. And we got some, whoo! We got more rock here than we're gonna need, that's for sure. Well, they, they got a whole <laughs> truckload in, so they'll use the, the rest of the And like landscape, yeah, 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 good idea. At least we have a picking choice. That always makes it easier. You managing that backup job oh. there? Oh, and a froth. Yeah. Pour yourself up in a froth. Oh my goodness, Kubota, are you kidding me? You didn't get a case? It's getting worse. Yeah, it's, hey, it's, let me give you a little uh, backdrop to the story. So, 10 some years ago, I met this really nice girl from out here in uh, Northwestern Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, here we are like 10 years, 11 years later. And anyway, so I got a brother-in-law out here now and he works for a landscape company. And uh, anyway, he was uh, showing one of their clients uh, the water features we do and whatnot, and they don't really do water features themselves, and she really wanted it, so that's why we're here. It's a story that goes way back. But, uh, <laughs> there, you, um, there you go, your marriage, you know, gets us work, so this is great. I'm telling you what, it's just the way it rolls sometimes, you know? <laughs> end up with brother-in-laws that live six hours away, and... Drive case equipment. Yeah, Kubotas. What? You didn't get them to rent Bobcat for no, us? No, unfortunately not. You should have been like, okay, uh, yeah, we'll come out and build the water feature in a one condition. You rent us all Bobcat equipment. Right, and have Dewalt tools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, let's go see what these guys are doing. They'll probably run away from the camera, huh? Oh, there he is. Oh, Jared. I told him that's what's going to happen. Nope. That's part of the deal. You get us to come out here, you're going to be filmed. So this here is Jared uh, Hartman from out here in Ohio. My brother-in-law. That's right. And I'm just the third wheel. Cool. Well, what do you got? You excited to build this thing? Okay. So yeah, the day has been saved. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. I was asking Matt if Jared was going to be on looping coffee duty, but it looks like the crisis is averted. So like sticky buns at showing up at 10 or? Uh, or before. <laughs> wow. A kid in the candy store, literally. My battery's dead on my mic. Sorry. Hopefully it doesn't cut out. But this is what we got here, out here in the flatlands of Ohio. We're right beside a lake or pond. And this is their 
toy barn garage out there houses even here yet a nice pavilion here right here where this waterfall is going to be this is the beginnings of our basin we're going to be digging in our basin here for our appalachian run 16 foot pond with waterfall which is going to run up the bank there towards the excavator so it's going to be a uh, pretty nice it's a beautiful location and uh, excited to see how this waterfall adds to everything that's going on here and gives this pavilion like the central focal point of the whole project i forgot some issues there with the groundwater so <laughs> Might be a little fun, might get some wet feet today. We'll figure it out. So this is the load of uh, material we brought out from Pennsylvania. All our aquascape components, driftwood, some boulders, the drilled boulders for the bubbling rocks. Got what? My, got my gloves. Gloves. I gave them to you. No, you didn't. I don't know where they are now. I don't know. Um, over there somewhere. <laughs> We have Matt over here on Lego Block Duty. So you got any tips and tricks for Lego blocks there, Matt? Uh, this is so fun. You're here at the playhouse. Oh my goodness, I'm like right at the playground. Mom said you can have lemonade after you're done. Exactly. I got my gloves on so we don't, you know, get a boo-boo. <laughs> We're almost done digging out of this basin. And actually, fortunately, that water is seeping in really slowly. So I think we'll be able to get our basin all, all in place and done before it becomes an issue. All right, so we got our vault in right there and surrounded with gravel. I uh, got our first two aqua blocks in. We're going to be stacking in the rest of these all the way in here till we get a nice solid underground basin to contain our water for this thing. When's the donut showing up? Huh? When's the, when's the donut showing up? Not sure. <laughs> Especially before 10 o'clock. All right, so we have our basin in, the aqua blocks are in, and this is our overdig, and we're gonna just take some dirt and trickle that down in there and backfill around these aqua blocks. And that'll lock our aqua blocks in nice and tight. Okay, so the basin is officially in. It's all backfilled, got some gravel on top, and uh, we have a clean slate to start setting in our frame rock for the first waterfall. What we're thinking here is they're building a future house. That's not even the house, that's the garage. They're building a future house there about behind where the skid loaders are. So they wanna be able to see this falls through the pavilion here, and obviously the pavilion's a very focal kind of a central uh, viewing place for this waterfall. But we also want to kick some waterfalls over toward these, uh, the seating area over here that's along the edge of the pond. So what I'm thinking is we're going to start this bottom waterfall kind of facing straight to the pavilion. Then the next waterfall will kind of like kick over that way as far as our liner will let us go that way and, and face that falls toward the firing seating area over here. Then the top will leave to be determined. So I'm going to go over here and uh, we'll check out some boulders, see what we got. Unfortunately, we have plenty of rock here, like more, with the, more than we would need for just the 16-foot pond list, which allows us to get really choosy and pick our favorite rock to form this thing. And then the rest of them all go into the landscape around the uh, pond list, which landscape boulders are way less uh, critical or very, you know, you can kind of get away with not having perfect rock to melt into the landscape. But for building a waterfall, it's nice to have that extra picking choice. So this looks awesome. All right, so we're going to play in the sandbox a little bit out here and kind of stick these boulders together, get a rough concept pulled together. We're going to go with that one as the right frame rock. That one is, oh boy, that one is the spillway rock over there. All right there, Matt. Yeah, I'm sitting too high. I'm like... 